Ladies and gentlemen, the finale of Series 9. We have watched Ed and Rose and Joe and David and Katie evolve over the course of a season into a lean, mean, task-crushing machine. There have been goofs. There have been gaffes. There have been laughs. And I'm pretty sure there have been tears, at least when he ripped his chest hair out. And this is the final moment. I might cry. I might actually cry when it's over. But you know what? Enjoy it for what it was. Don't cry because it's over. Smile because you experienced it, chat. Series 9, the finale. <laughs> Did he go to Ibiza? Why, why, is, why does Greg look like a tomato? Am I smoking weed? Did he get a fake tan? He did not look like this on episode 9. This is, this is, there's something weird happening here. Thank you. Welcome to the Series 9. <laughs> he looks like he's been tan. He's Leatherman. This is the Donald Trump. <laughs> why are they all wearing suits? What What happened here? Joe, why are you wearing sunglasses indoors? Join the elite and fulfill I'm actually so confused this episode. Am I in the right season? Uh, oh, yeah, the title. Think about the spirit. Think about the spirit is Rose Matafeo. David Medeo. David. <laughs> Eddie. Joe. And Rose Matafeo. Oh, straighten that little bow tie. Little Alley. Oh my god, he's tan too. What is happening? Why are they so tan? I in your sunbed with you. You're welcome. What a night it was. What a weekend. What a lovely time we had. They spent a night in there. Okay. It was just for that bit. They've been tasked to bring in the best thing that is very long and thin. Okay. Wow. And you're very long and not very... <laughs> careful! Careful, Alex! <laughs> Ed gave the same react. I'm hoping for big things. It's one strand of spaghetti that is so long it could constitute a whole portion. No, it is! It genuinely is! It genuinely is. Thank you. That you know, I made... you know this is the grand final. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. He made his own spaghetti. A beautiful piece of knitwear that is made out of a very long piece of wool. She she knit a sweater. So the reason it's so awful and so horrible is because I can't really knit, and it's the only thing I've ever made. <laughs> okay, I have brought along the longest ever tin can walkie-talkie. I was so frightened of the Nazis that I thought at any point I'd have to hide under the floorboard. <laughs> ding, 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 ding! There's our Nazi reference. Thank you, David. Every episode, you gotta have one. Thus. I would need a walkie-talkie. She's thrown depression in, and now we're dealing with the Nazis. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking to, uh, you were under the floorboard. Churchill. <laughs> Have you ever read um, War and Peace? I took all the pages out and joined them all together, so it's now not only very, very long, but very thin. If you just held it on and draped it, it would be as high, well, nearly as high as the shard. <laughs> wow. <laughs> now that is long and also thin. Long and thin, grand final. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I made a strawberry lace. You what? I brought a le uh, lasso made of strawberry laces. Jesus. <laughs> grand <laughs> final. Wow, what a beautiful <laughs> lasso. It's <laughs> the grand final. <laughs> right him up, cowboy. Gets one point, the strawberry lace girl. Oh, wow. oh, she's fucked. Wow, depending on where Ed places in this, this finale could already be done. Yeah, the <laughs> I know that Ed's pasta is going to be delicious, but I'm only giving it two points. Okay. Two points for spaghetti. Okay. Oh. She's taken on one of Katie the most it. classic novels the world has ever seen, and she's put it next to Shard. <laughs> Five points. <laughs> nice job, Katie. Imagine Katie steals it. One thing, real quick, chat. Of course. Well, uh, David is on. Uh Stop saying David looks like my dad. I hate that. It's in all the YouTube comments. You say it in the Twitch chat. David Badil is not my dad, and I have more of a chin than David Badil. That he's got no chin. He's chinless. It goes straight to neck. It goes mouth, neck, mouth, neck. Look at that. Ugh, it's such a strong chin. <sighs> I, nothing like me. 154 to Katie and 157 to Ed. <gasps> Katie or Ed, three points. Woo! Alex. Alex. Ed Gamble. Oh, do you want to get engaged to me? <laughs> do the most preposterous thing with this chickpea. You have 20 minutes. Your time starts now. My process normally 
is to do the first thing that comes into my head. <laughs> it has the not... first thing I think is to shove this up my ass. <laughs> That's twice. Wow, what a sandwich. If you guys don't remember, the first task of the season, I believe the first task of the season, editor can throw it in here maybe if he wants to do a little more work, is when they were trying to hide an aubergine or an eggplant if you're an American. Hide three aubergines in this room. I'm going to say what we're all thinking. You're supposed to shove it up your butt, right? And now we are here in the final task with a much more manageable leg legume? bean thing and his first thought is to shove it up his ass well let, let's bank that <laughs> here i am trying to think of the second thing i could do balance it on my cock <laughs> <laughs> damn he's got the back and the front oh beautiful editing oh he's gonna is he gonna date it oh he's gonna fuck it oh he's gonna fuck this chickpea sally style Oh, a nice walk through the park. Is he fucking a dead chickpea? Yeah, it's 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 hummus. It, it, it turned into it, it turned into hummus. It all makes sense now. Tell me if I'm right here. I was just writing down the, the narrative as I went along. You wind and dined a chickpea. Yes. Mm -hmm. Tragically, you lost that chickpea in an awful car accident. Mm -hmm. and this is where it gets interesting. <laughs> you had sex with its smashed up remains. <laughs> so it's the chickpea didn't die. The chickpea was injured. And then it happened to numerous other chickpeas. <laughs> <laughs> at the moment, you just look like the Jeffrey Dahmer of the chickpea world. Posterous David Baddiel. Here we go. Welcome to the chick pivoty. This chickpea is in fact God. <laughs> He's doing a nativity oh. gambit. Oh. <laughs> Starting a new religion. We three kings of hummus are on our way to the Tahini star. <laughs> I knew I should have shoved it up my ass. <laughs> Here is the holy family. <laughs> of chickpeas at 59p. Long. Can you just go, oh, oh. So in the <laughs> final days, 20 seconds as they went in, this is the virgin chickpea. This is the virgin chickpea's husband. And together, <laughs> they gave birth the baby chickpea. Oh, no! The baby chickpea! Thus, a Rage! What that must have looked like from the perspective of the man who owned that shop. <laughs> The man who sang Three Lions, he bought some of his chickpeas, yeah. Yeah. he threw them on the pavement outside, yep. and then he left. <laughs> Doesn't this one look really Oh my god, hard? she's murdering the baby Jesus. Right, that's ridiculous, so that'll do. Okay, super gluing Just them to gloves. Settle. I've got a crack in my chickpea. Done. What, what have you done? I've turned chickpeas into nails. That is absurd. I, I'll say it. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Okay. That's not bad. Oh! <laughs> she made a fake tooth out of it! Oh, I hate that, Joe! I hate it! Finally and sadly, here's Rose Matafeo. Oh, sadly. Oh, no. Oh, it's a sad one. Oh, it's a funeral. <laughs> He's dead. She's dead. They're, they're dead. Oh, no. Here lies Chick Pataki, 2012-2019. R I P. Good lower, good lower. <laughs> Rest in peace, Chick Pataki. I genuinely found myself grieving for a fucking. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How do you feel that ten minutes later I dug that chickpea up and fucked it? No! Oh no! Ready yeah. from the top. From the top. Yes. Anyone who makes me grieve for something, I would <gasps> gobble up with a second thought. Gets five points. Okay, five points. Rose Rose Rose. Rose. Yeah. Anyone who subsequently exhumes that corpse and fucks it has to be. Gets four sweet points. Uh huh. <laughs> I'm exhausted. Early scoreboard, please, Alex. Katie wakes it on eight points. Hey. Uh. 
Rosenhead are not tied now. The final team task of the series, I'm afraid. Ooh, I love team tasks. Really? Damn, I love the team task this season. Make the best cup of tea in this teacup. You must use, not use anything from the kitchen. You must wear the washing up gloves throughout the task. Best cup of tea wins. Oh, hang on, they're all, they're all locked down. I think this might be useful. Yeah, Shall I start to put the water in? Do you mind? Because I'm just going to have a quick wee as well. OK, fine. <laughs> uh, I don't know how long Joe's wee's going to take. Well, you've only got seven minutes left to make this. OK, thing. Joe! That's crazy. This is insane. Joe? Yeah? Have a look at this. Uh, some water will come off, but I think most of it will go in here. Right. Oh, we I've, just... done it. I've done it, I've done okay. it. OK. OK, cause I thought we had no choice. And you know what we don't have? Tea strainer. Tea strainer. That's bog roll. We can't strain it through bog roll. Why not? Do it poshly. That's yeah. and that's not going to catch anything. See how strong the tea is. Are you a psycho? Is that working? Yeah. Oh, oh. I lied. Yeah. I thought so many of the grounds one were going to go through. Yeah, one sugar. Look at that. Thanks, David. Oh, kind of gross. It's very, very strong, but it's not a bad cup of tea. Oh, okay. Okay. First things first, I would like to congratulate Joe Brand. When against the clock <laughs> to go to the toilet. You came back from the toilet yeah. with some toilet roll and you said you can't strain tea through toilet roll. <laughs> yeah. So why did you bring the toilet roll back? Because <laughs> I thought I might have a shit while it was brewing. <laughs> Duh! Why else would I have it, dumbass? That's stuck down. We have you got a key on you, Alex? I to take that. I've got a key on me. Oh, keys. Do you think the keys are in here, in the sugar? I'm fairly sure I'm there's no key on I'm Alex. Look for, this lid is quite scoopy. <laughs> oh, yes, there's a scoopy. Got enough in there for that. There you go, that'll do that. <laughs> we should just wad it up and squeeze it into the cup instead of a strain. Wad it up and squeeze it. Wad it up and squeeze what? it into the cup. What? Oh, great. Wow, that's amazing. Cup of tea, oh, anyway. Did Joe and David tea. win? Right, so everyone just get as much water on that as possible, and then I'll spit the milk on top when we're done. You spit? Yeah. Oh, oh it's a frothy one. What? Sugar? No, we haven't got sugar. Can I do it? Are you tasting this, Alex? Yes. <laughs> oh, it's green. <laughs> oh, he broke character for a second. We should just Scoopy. wad it up and squeeze it into a cup. <laughs> yeah. And you and both went, yeah, yeah, we'll wad it up. <laughs> yeah, let's get that wadded up. I'm going to give five points. <gasps> five. Ooh. Two. David and Joe. And I'm sorry, I'm punishing the young people heavy. I'm giving them one point each. <gasps> oh. No. I would have said four one. Reaction. They went oh, five one. Actually... Alex, it's not the last pre-recorded task, is it? It is. <gasps> but it's not as bad as it sounds, Greg, because it's actually the last seven tasks. Ready? What could that mean? Oh no, chat, what's that? You want to watch your commercial before we get back so I can make some money so that we can continue doing this? All right, but only because you asked for it. Wow, Stans. Your glasses are so cool. Can I wear them? Thank you. That was very kind. Hey, viewers, you should sub to Stans on YouTube. He's a great guy. Okay, now back to the video. All right. Oh, okay. Let's get back to the show. The ads are over. Please open up the one on the second step. Thank you. Complete the seven tasks. You must complete it before looking inside another task. Time starts now. Put this wheelbarrow in the caravan. The wheelbarrow must stay in the caravan for the rest of the task. Angles, okay. no, other way, Rose. One task done. Roll a bowling ball so that it knocks over at least one of the skittles in front of the front door. Just has to hit one. Nice. Complete the jigsaw. It's in here. Oh. I see who it's going to be. So the order you do the task to make it oh, really oh. challenging. Here we go. Hide all the jigsaw pieces around the garden. Oh, thank God I got that on this. Oh my God, that could have been so bad. So bad. Build a tower of bricks on the red circle. The tower must be at least 26 inches high and remain standing until all tasks are complete. Tricky towers. See how this would be difficult if you got it in a bad order. Oh, it's <laughs> done. Wow, she beat it. The faces of the other contestants. <laughs> Kindly for you, didn't they? <laughs> Were you just thinking, why have they saved this boring task for the end of the series? Because fuck me, strap in, mate. <laughs> <laughs> if you started from hide all the jigsaw pieces around the garden. Hide all the jigsaw pieces around the garden. <laughs> um... <laughs> That's good, actually. Complete. Oh. 
What does it say? Complete, Complete the, jigsaw. the jigsaw. This doesn't feel. It just went in the front door, David. David, what are you doing, dude? Oh, like she threw a puzzle piece in the bush. What? Put this wheelbarrow in the caravan. I've got a feeling I've picked them up in a bad order. Put 20 things all bigger than a tennis ball in the wheelbarrow. <laughs> Place one of your hands on one of your hips for the rest of the thing. Yes, please. Place okay. one of your hands on your hips to keep it there until you've completed all the tasks. Hand on your hip, please. Yeah. What do you mean, yeah? <laughs> this one. Remember, if you knock over your tower, you have to start everything all over again. I'd rather die. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't knock over your tower. <laughs> David keeps taking his hand off his hip, which is so funny. <gasps> Oh. Hey. Put your hand on your hip, David. Actually, was my hand in the right place to begin with? To begin with, but then you didn't have it on for the rest of the task. Yeah. Well, why didn't he start again if that was? Well, well I, mean, I was wondering the same thing. As I said, I would have rather died. I mean, I would. <laughs> <laughs> it's Joe and Ed. Oh no. One. Oh. Two. Roll a bowling ball. You're not got many to aim for. Yeah, certainly less than I did initially. Get okay. in, you prick! Complete the jigsaw. Put this wheelbarrow in the caravan. Have ever seen anyone have a stroke? <laughs> so what happens if stuff falls out of it? Oh, you have to start again with the Skittles. Hide, Hide all, all the jigsaw, the jigsaw pieces, pieces, around, pieces the around the garden. Put this wheelbarrow in the caravan. <laughs> oh, with one arm? I'd say that's it. OK, I've stopped the clock. Wow, Jody, oh! pretty good. I've got to start the task again, haven't I? Yes. I so nearly did it! He can do them in any order now. Place one of your hands on your hips and keep it there until you've completed all the tasks. Still one more, Ed. Oh. Oh! Oh, no. I've stopped the clock. He did it. He did it! Okay. Ed, everybody did all the tasks. Ed started his task again because something came out of the wheelbarrow. Something came out of Joe's wheelbarrow. She took the wellies out, but she didn't start again. I okay. didn't tell her to because of um, the scenario. Don't well, hurt. she'd threatened to have a stroke. Just before that. <laughs> that was the worst day of my fucking life. <laughs> I stuck to the rules, Alex. Yes, yes, yes. I stuck to the rules. I I we've got to think about the spirit here. Did everyone? No, it's not about the spirit. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's not about the spirit. <laughs> um, the trouble is, no one could compete with Rose. With a hand on her hook, it still took her just under a minute to build her 26 inch tower. Her 26 inch tower? Yes, her 26-inch tower. The tower must be at least 26 inches high. I measured it to double-check. I can show you here. Oh. She choked. Uh, Rose didn't build a tower tall enough. Ed completed it twice. <laughs> you got to give it to Ed. You I'm always got to give it to Ed. So I'm afraid... Ed Gamble, five points, everyone else, none. It's over. The show's over. The show is over! It's fairly tight in the episode. Five points separating them, so anyone can win the episode. Rose wow. has seven, but Ed Gamble has All because points. he follows the rules. Could you head to the stage for the final task of the series? Pull the short breadstick. You must pull a breadstick out of the apron of the person. If you pull the short breadstick, that breadstick bearer is disqualified. Last remaining player... Wins. I don't know what the fuck any of that yeah. is. <laughs> we have some time to rearrange. You can rate with. <laughs> the last person standing gets five points, so any of you could still win the episode. Okay? Right. Oh. David, yeah. this is the short breadstick. <laughs> oh, what a wink. Wow! He baked it. Damn, Ed? has been absolutely trounced in the final task of the evening, the live test. I feel like he hasn't won a single one, and he's almost always out first. Okay, so, Rose is now going to pull David Baddiel's breadstick. Oh, come on, don't say that. <laughs> is the short breadstick. <laughs> Please pull it. Oh. Baddiel survives. Good luck. Uh, wow. Jones, right, that is the short breadstick. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Let's go, Joe. Let's go, Joe. Oh, Joe. This is the shortest breadstick. So nice. Okay. Ooh. Carry on. This is the shortest breadstick. Okay. Is it though? It is a short breadstick. <laughs> Damn, Rose just baked it. She's so ready. Whoever doesn't have their short breadstick pulled is the winner 
of this tart. Uh, that <laughs> is the short breadstick. Hmm. We have a winner! Damn! Damn, Rose! She just did it! The breadstick queen! Which means it's our tightest episode of the series. There's only three points separating last, Katie Wicks, from first, Ed Campbell and Rose Matafeo. Oh. <gasps> Tiebreaker! They had to make a pop-up toy pause for the longest yeah. before popping up. Oh, I should have gone with butter. Peanut butter, is it? Yes, peanut butter all the way. I mean, you should just completely cover it, right? <laughs> ah! <laughs> yeah, let's leave our friend there. What are you having for lunch? Wow! Well, his toy paused for 44 seconds, but Ed's paused for well over an hour and a half. <laughs> 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 That's insane. Nice job, Ed! Ed, a bit of a killer. That's crazy that she made that. Or had someone make that. There's a reason why that won. Now, as I hand over to tiny little Alex Horn, the final results. <gasps> the final results. Foot. David. David. Yes. You came fifth in the end with 128 points. David Badil. Hey, what are you going to do? In fourth place with 154 points, it's Troy Brown! Yeah. Almost exactly as we thought. Almost inseparable, but separable. On 158 and 159 points, they are Katie Wicks in third and Rose Matafeo in second. Yeah. Ed did it! The ninth Taskmaster champion is... Ed Gamble! Let's go! We picked the champion! We knew! We knew it would be Ed! Oh my god, he looks so tiny. He looks so tiny compared to them. They're massive! Wow, nice job, Ed. What a series! What a series! That was awesome. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching Series 9 of Taskmaster.